Sons of the Forest is a first person survival game that takes place on a densely forested island, but what if using a mod we could change that, instead the game was a third person game. That is the focus of today's video, a mod I created that allows the player to try out other types of camera, and change their gameplay to something that may fit the different style that they want. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. Starting off, let's cover how to set this mod up. You're going to need a special optimized version of Melon Loader that is the new 6.0 version, as well as having an optimized harmony file. Starting off with that new Melon Loader version, you can obtain this from their automatic launcher. Simply run it on an executable of the game which can be found in whatever folder the game is being stored in. If you do not know where this is on Steam, you can find it by hitting the settings on the game and then hitting local files. From here you're going to need to select the newest version on the Melon Loader launcher, so go over to settings tab, hit enable other builds, and then return to the setup window and click 6.0. After this runs and sets up, you're going to need that optimized harmony file. To get it, I have a link below that's just a simple download of it, and I also have one attached to the Nexus page. Download it and drag it into the folder. It's going to say you have two files with the same name. Be sure to tap replace file, and then you are golden to being able to load some of the forest Melon Loader mods. Now that this is all set up, go to the other link in the description and download the Camera Perspective mod for the Sons of the Forest. Take this downloaded DLL and drop it into the mod folder that Melon Loader created for you. And boom, you are now good to go. To use it, you're going to need to load into the game. Upon doing so, hit either F1 or F2 to toggle either the wide third person or the close third person camera. This change version offers you a bit wider FOV and will give you a bit of an ability to know if an enemy is approaching you. Though it has the downsides that it handles the interior building pretty awful and looting pretty awful because the camera is just not built for it. I think it's pretty cool in general, but in the future I intend on adding more changes to the mod to make it more refined, but at the moment this is all I've got. So with that I will now showcase a very short gameplay clip of the mod and hopefully you enjoy this concept and enjoy this video. This has been Crystal Beast and until next time. I like how little they animated the upper body since you can't see it. But I kind of worry since there is multiplayer. So I guess I could, um, if I wanted to in the future of this mod, import the animations from multiplayer into single player. <laughs> 